in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the best Prison Life exploit admin command script that you can currently get on the market for free that is keyless. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, so to start, you're going to go to the link in the description. It's going to take you to my Discord server right here. And so you're going to go to the little scripts tab right here and then click on the Prison Life admin channel. Um, it should take you to this page right here. You can click on any of these, uh, like, links, but I'm just gonna go to the official site, which I recommend you, uh, do that too. It should take you to this page right here. Um, all you're gonna wanna do is download, uh, the script, so click the red download button, and then it should prompt you to download prisonlifeexploit.txt. Just, uh, click save as, and then save it where you want to use it at. So guys, once you save the script, you need to find where you saved it at. Um, you can click on it, press Ctrl and C to copy it. And now you're going to go to the executor you, that you want to uh, run the script on. So I'm on Discord server. I have three different script executors that you can use, plus tutorial files to make your own script executor. But for now, I'm just going to be using my Synapse script executor. And so we want to add the script onto the script list of Synapse. So how we can do that? is go to your Synapse X um, folder. And also every script executor that I have built comes with its own script list. So uh, you can do this for every single uh, script executor. But so go to the debug folder, then look for the scripts folder and just paste in um, the prison life exploit um, obf.txt file. Then you can run your script executor's bootstrapper and then it should show up the file on the script list. So I'm gonna run this and let's see if it loads up the um, prison life script. All right guys, so as you can see, I have loaded up Synapse X and it shows the script right here on the script list. It says prison life exploit obf.txt. So let's click it real quick. And as you can see, it loads up the script. So it is obfuscated, but don't worry. I promise you, I have not hidden any code and like any malicious code inside of this and if you want me to be completely honest i don't even know how to but so i built this script um credits to prison life for all of the kill scripts but yeah so we can go ahead and run this in prison life and see if it works so guys to run the script you first need to click attach and then after a little bit of waiting it should show synapse x injected in the bottom right corner so you can then click ok and then press execute while you have your code loaded up in the script editor so click execute and then as you can see it loads up the script so this uses the activated function instead of mouse button one click so this is compatible with mobile it also uses um auto, auto scale light to uh scale the ui um, based on the um, exploiter's screen resolution. So this has exactly 100 commands. You see it counts right here, the amount of commands. And so there's so many things that you can do. Um, first off, I'm going to enable auto response so you can search it up. Um, click the command. Then you see a little execute frame. It should load it up in this little text box. Just click execute. And then it says successfully executed command quick respond. So the first time around, it usually does not work, but I guess I just got lucky. But every other time, it should work completely fine. So the next thing I want to show you guys is loop guns. I'm gonna click the command, click execute. And as you can see, it gets the guns automatically for me. Oh, it looks like there's an exploiter. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back in a different server, and like I was saying, there's that little loot guns command that you can get, and basically what this does is whenever you die, it will automatically give the guns back to you right when you die. So, that's pretty cool, right? But if you want to get even fancier than that, which is pretty cool, personally, to me, but what we can do is equip any gun, look up color gun, click the command, and now this is where you, uh type in the name make sure it's exact and that the gun is equipped so um put in the name of the gun and then put in the color so i want to color it blue right it turns the gun blue pretty cool right red turns the gun red what about green oh yeah don't worry also has green too and this works for all three guns by the way too if you were wondering so uh, this is not permanent every time you respawn so you'll have to um you will have to set the color again after you die, which is kind of annoying, which I can obviously just add a, a loop color gun command, but I'm not going to do that right now because I 
am thinking of working on a new script executor for the um, Discord server. So there's also teleports, like roof. Boom. I was being shot, so that kind of helps me escape. Let me kill him real quick. There we go. Oh, there's that. There's also a rest player, which I'm not going to do. FE Scythe. This just comes with the FE gear mod script that I've made before. And this works. This is FE, by the way. Um, other players can see the hold animation, the attack animation, and they also die too because it uses melee event instead of just like a normal client side and kill script. So it has that. Spawn card. This is one of my favorites. So um, all you do, time in spawn card, execute. Boom. You have a car. Pretty cool, right? There's that. I'm not going to do kill all, but I will tell you it works. How about we do kill inmate? Kill uh, guards because this peasant's trying to attack me. Just for the memes, right? Uh, kill guards. All right, I just clicked kill guards, and as you can see, every single guard died. Pretty cool, right? Do it again. There, he died. But this only works with uh, guards that do not have force field on, because obviously, uh, there's no way to kill a guard with their force field on. So there's that. There's also teleport crim base. And just so you know, I'm not going to be showcasing every script, because that's going to get too long, because there's a hundred commands. But there's two other things I want to show you guys before I end the video. So, uh, if you guys want to see some past scripts that I've made, I made this a year ago. So, it's called OGX Funny GUI, which is just the command I put inside of this. Uh, but so, if I click execute, um, this is, I know, laugh at me in the comments all you want, but this is an old script that I made, and I just thought it was funny, so I could add that. And this has a ton of other cool stuff in it, but I'm going to save that for later. And there's also another older one that I made. I know the UI is bad, but so I just got inspired by this, uh, this other creator called Jake Dry that um, hosted these scripts with a really bad UI, and I just thought it was cool. So, you know, I just made scripts like this, which is kind of funny, but I really like them. Because uh, you can fit a ton of commands on the GUI. So there's that. There's also FE Sword. So this is just like a classic sword. You can kill anyone. No matter if they're on your team or not. Um, there's Anti-Tase. That means you cannot be tased. And yeah. There's just overall a ton of commands. But so. That's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.